Welcome to 19 December updates and Salam Ibu Vitiriko. Former Goldman Sachs banker Roger Ng has claimed the trial at a Sessions Court here to four counts of abetting the US-based investment bank by omitting facts and making untrue statements over YMDB sales of notes worth $6.5 billion in bonds. The 46-year-old pleaded not guilty after the charges were read out before Sessions Court Judge Ahmad Kamal Arifin Ismail. One of the fact material facts is that Low Tech Joe, or known as Joe Low, was the operator and key intermediary for YMDB. The offences were a line committed at YMDB's office at Manara IMC along Jalan Sultan Ismail between March 19, 2012 and November 11, 2013. The offences under Section 370C read together with Section 179C of the Capital Markets and Services Act 2007 carried a jail term up to 10 years and a fine of not less than 1 million if convicted. Lawyer Dato Tan Hock Chuan, who represented Ng, asked for a lower bail in the range of 600,000 ringgit. Ahmad Kamal fixed bail at 1 million ringgit in two two series. He also ordered for Ng's passport to be surrendered to the court. The case is fixed for mention on March 8 next year. Malaysia's airport holdings Berhad aims to attract 10 new airlines, both premium and low-cost carriers, to Malaysia, especially to its five main airports in 2019. MAHB General Manager for Airline Marketing, Mohamed Salahuddin Matsah, mentioned that MAHB are going to be very focused next year and will continue to pursue many more airlines. He told reporters after welcoming Citilink Indonesia's in a grill flight in KLIA today. Mohamed Salahuddin said the potential airlines might come from China, Middle Eastern countries, the Asian region and other regions as well. He said Malaysia would be able to attract many foreign airlines due its to its varieties of tourism, attraction and accessibility as some LCCs found it easy for a startup. Meanwhile, the Royal Brunei Airlines will commence its Bandar Seri Begawan Kuching route on December 28 with two flights a week. He attributes Malaysia's variety of tourism offerings to the better traffic from premium tourists to regular backpackers. Now on to world news. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe enters a seven-year in office. He is chasing the holy grail of Japanese diplomacy, a breakthrough in a decades-old territorial role with Russia that has steamed a formal peace treaty since the end of World War II. Abe, who has signaled he is keen to strike a deal, is expected in Moscow next month for his 25th summit with Russia President Vladimir Putin. Veterans of the past negotiations say 2019 may be the best and last chance for Abe, who sees a treaty as a potential political legacy to end the row over a group of windswiped islands seized by Soviet troops in the final days of the war. Any transfers of sovereignty to Japan would be addressed to the role of the US, Japan's security treaty and Washington's right to establish military bases on the island. According to retired diplomat Kozuhiko Togo says the efforts to break the deadlock have floundered before. The failure now would be significant for the Japanese Prime Minister. That is all the updates for now and I'm Kamaruddin Bujang. Salam Ipu Witiriku.